Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on data access control in Unity Catalog. This video is a part of my Databricks Unity Catalog series, so be sure to check out the playlist from the beginning if you're new to Unity Catalog. The focus of this video is to give an introduction into how you can leverage Unity Catalog to manage access to data and securable objects. So first, let's look at the Unity Catalog security model. We have principles, privileges, and securable objects. Principles are entities, groups, and service principles that can receive permissions. Privileges are specific access rights granted to privileges over securables. And securable objects are data objects such as tables, catalogs, and schemas that access can be controlled on. So you would grant or revoke privileges on a securable object to or from a principal. So let's look at the principles. We have data owners. Data owners are owners of an object and are automatically granted all privileges on that object. In addition, object owners can grant privileges to the object itself and on all of its child objects. We have account admins. They automatically have full access to all objects in all metastores. We also have metastore admins. They have similar capabilities to account admins, but only on the metastore that they're assigned to. You also have users, groups, and service principles who require permissions in order to access objects. You can set access controls in a variety of ways, including the Databricks Catalog Explorer and SQL statements in notebooks or Databricks SQL queries. Depending on the type of securable object, you'll be able to assign different privileges. This link here shows the different securable objects and the privileges that apply to them. So as you can see, different objects have different privileges. So for metastores, you can assign these privileges, but for tables, you can only assign apply tag, select and modify permissions only. This is constantly getting updated. So you may have different objects and privileges depending on when you watch this video. I'll leave links to the documentation I've shared along with this video, so please review it in your own time. Okay, so now let me give a simple demonstration of data access control in Unity Catalog. First of all, let me go to the account console. Under user management, you can see in my workspace, there's another user called user one. I'll create a group and assign this user to that group. So under groups, I'll click on add group and I'll call this group engineering and then save. And I'll assign that member to this group. Okay, so back in my Databricks workspace, I'm currently signed in to my main profile, which is both an account admin and Metastore admin. So I have full access to everything. In the Catalog Explorer, Notice my catalogs. I have a catalog here called HR. I'm now signed in to user one's Databricks workspace. As you can see here, user one. So when I go to Catalog Explorer, notice this user cannot see the HR catalog. This is because they do not have use catalog privileges on that HR catalog. Okay, so back in my Databricks workspace, let me give user one usage permissions on the catalog and see what happens. So let me access this HR catalog and under permissions, click on grant, and then I will give use catalog privileges to everyone in the engineering group, which includes user one. So let's grant that. Now with most privileges, they're inherited. So if I also give this select privilege, on this catalog, then the user can select all objects such as tables and views in all schemas of the catalog. But use privileges are explicit and not inherited. In order to access objects in a schema, the user also needs use schema permissions on the schema. So even if I give select privileges, the user will not be able to select objects within the catalog or schema unless they have use catalog and use schema privileges. So for now, I've only given this user use catalog privileges. So now back in the user's workspace, when I refresh, 
The user can now see the HR catalog. However, they cannot see any objects within it. They can only see this information schema, which is created by default. So back in my account, notice for this HR catalog, there are a series of schemas and this user is unable to access them because they do not have use schema privileges. So now let me give user one use schema privilege at the schema level for this bronze schema. So I'll click on this bronze schema under permissions. I'll click on grant and then I will give use schema privileges to the engineering group. And note, if I wanted to be explicit, I could just give it to user one, but you should really use groups for access control. So click on grant. And now in the user one account, when I refresh, the user now has access to the HR catalog and the bronze schema. However, they do not have access to any of the tables because they've not been given any privileges on the table. Apart from use catalog and use schema, the other privileges are inherited. So if I go back to the HR catalog level and I go to permissions and I go to grant and I grant select privileges at the catalog, then the user can select all objects within the catalog and all of the schemas within that catalog as well. So let's click on select and then I will add engineering and then I will grant. So now let's refresh. So now the user can see all of the tables in the bronze schema. So now let's try to query this country's table in this bronze schema. So let me open an SQL editor. So I'll type select star from hr.bronze.countries and I'll run this. And that works. But if I try to query the same table in the silver schema, then that fails. Insufficient privileges. This is because the user does not have use schema on the silver schema. So even though this user has select privileges on the table, so on this silver countries table, they still need use schema privileges along with use catalog privileges to be able to perform this select operation. Okay, so now let me give this user use schema privileges at the catalog level. So they will now be able to use all schemas within this HR catalog. So let's grant this. And now when I try to run this again, this time it works. And as you can see this time, when I go to the catalog explorer, refresh, and then go to HR, the user has access to all of the schemas now. So the main note here is to be able to exercise the permissions for objects inside of a schema, such as select, you need use catalog and use schema privileges as well. Those need to be explicit and are not inherited, unlike the others. Okay, so I also mentioned earlier that you can assign privileges in various ways, including using SQL syntax. Using SQL syntax, you would type the following, which is on the screen. So for example, if I wanted to grant use catalog privileges, to the engineering group on the HR catalog, then using the SQL editor, I'll show you what to type. But first, let me revoke this privilege along with this one and this one as well. So now in the user one profile, when I refresh, they no longer have access to this HR catalog. So back in my admin account, if I go to an SQL editor, and you can also do this using a notebook as well, I can type grant use catalog on catalog HR to engineers. So let's run this. And actually, if it's not engineers, that should be engineering. So now let's run this. Great. So that was successful. So now in the user one account, when I refresh, they now have access to this catalog again. Okay, so that wraps up this video. 
which is a short introduction to data access control within Databricks Unity Catalog. For more information, please check out the documentation, which I'll link in the description of the video, as it describes everything I've covered so far. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, then please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content like this.